Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Merry Christmas. I've left London to seek out the abode of our next homeowner. He must be around here somewhere. Oh, chuff me. What an impressive erection. <clears throat> you can't say that. What's that? Oh, this is Richard. He's a lawyer from ITV. They were just a bit worried that because of who the homeowner is, you might get a bit carried away with the rude innuendos. OK, you massive squares. Don't send a letter home to me, Mum. Happy <laughs> that I didn't empty my sack. <laughs> so here I am at the homeowner's front door and I'm just about to touch their lovely knocker. Touch their shiny knob. I'm about to knock on their door. Yes, that's fine. I'm about to knock on their door and penetrate their inner sanctum. <laughs> so, as I enter this beauty, I'm immediately greeted by myself, Mirror Mirror <laughs> Opwall. Who's the best keyhole presenter of them all? Oh, Lloyd Grossman, of course. Brilliant presenter. Hi, it's Christopher Biggins. Yes, it's me. Biggins. I get it, it's for the panto theme. No, I was talking about the reboot of Through the Keyhole, Biggins. Uh, probably Lisa Snowden. Yeah, apart from Lisa Snowden. Oh, all right. You, Keith. Thanks, Biggins. Merry Christmas. Very kind. I've also noticed there's an abundance of cocks. You can't say cocks, Keith. Male chickens. I've also noticed there's an abundance of male chickens. <laughs> You find me here, in the kitchen, where there's a plethora of pink bits. All suggesting a homeowner who's in touch with their feminine side. There's pink things such as this pink polka dot tablecloth here. There's this pink polka dot cup. There's these pair of pink salt and pepper mills. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't we go into the garage and have a look at the homeowner's extensive collection of pornographic magazines. Let's do that, yeah? Uh, I should really, um... No, let's have a look at the dirty books. I've got a ton of dirty books in the garage. Let's have a look at those. Nice one. OK, <laughs> let's do the living room whilst that fun sponge has gone. <laughs> Clearly, the homeowner has got a sense of humour, and that's illustrated by this cheeky bum table. It looks really expensive, but they've probably got a discount because it's got a massive crack in it. <laughs> Over here, spread eagled on the baby grand piano, there's absolutely buttloads of photographs, including this one of the homeowner with Joan Collins, and this one of the homeowner with Joan Collins. They obviously <laughs> like Joan Collins. Perhaps they should set up a fan club for Joan Collins. Interesting. I've just squeezed through the homeowner's back passage and it's deposited me here into this massive, bushy opening at the rear entrance of the homeowner's house. Well, I couldn't find any of those pornographic magazines you mentioned. Well, perhaps they've just got rid of them. I'm just doing some very family-friendly presenting here, so there's nothing to worry about. It's all cool here. It's all cool, Richard. Nice one. <laughs> It's a massive garden with more than enough room to camp. You could really camp it up over here, and you could camp it up over there. I'm here in the homeowner's office, where I can well imagine the homeowner sat at this old writing desk, which comes complete with everything you would need to do writing. Pens, paper, this owl sculpted out of spelter. Yes, I can picture the homeowner sat here, scribbling away furiously, making numerous observations by the light of this lamp here, which has got a bit of dust on it. I'm just going to clean it. <laughs> oh, my word! Who are you? I'm your big genie, here to grant you three wishes. Wow, man alive. OK, cool. Um, right, um, could you bring back Airwolf to television? I used to love that show. Your wish is my command. No way. Well, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about a baked potato with cheese and beans? <laughs> Actually, um, can I change that to cheese and coleslaw? <laughs> oh, wow. Hold on a minute. But I just used up my last wish changing my order. You have. <sighs> Should have used my last wish to get rid of Richard the lawyer, spoiling my innuendo fun. Go back to the studio. Well, let me say knobs, let me say knockers. Really? All sorts of things. Terrible. 